Here's what would happen if you traveled 10 quintillion years into the future. This number is insanely huge. One followed by 19 zeros, way beyond the lifetime of stars, galaxies, maybe even atoms themselves. At 1 billion years into the future, life on Earth is gone. The sun grows hotter over time, pushing Earth's temperature past survivable levels. The oceans evaporate, the land dries out, and all life disappears. If humanity survives at all, it's only because we left Earth long before this point. In 10 billion years, the sun dies. It expands into a massive red giant, swallowing Mercury and Venus and possibly Earth's remains, then collapses into a dim white dwarf about the size of Earth. Meanwhile, the Milky Way merges with the Andromeda Galaxy, forming a new mega galaxy, let's call it the Milkomeda. Our solar system might get flung far away from where we are, or even ejected entirely. At 11 billion years, star formation slows. Galaxies still shine, but they're running low on hydrogen, fuel needed to create new stars. Big stars die explosively. Small stars burn through the last of their fuel, and the universe begins its long fade into darkness. At 100 trillion years, the Stelliferous Era ends. No more stars are born, all existing stars have died, leaving only white dwarfs, brown dwarfs, neutron stars and black holes. The universe is lit only by the faint glow of these fading remnants. If anything like humanity still exists, it would need artificial energy sources or gravity scale engineering to survive. And finally, 10 quintillion years from now would be the degenerate era. The universe would be a cosmic graveyard. White dwarfs cool into black dead spheres. Neutron stars drift silently. Black holes roam the darkness. Only rare collisions between stellar remnants spark brief flashes of light. Everything is colder, dimmer, quieter. Matter itself is slowly decaying. If anything intelligent is still out there, it must have found a way to escape, evolve, or build entirely new universes because